dear sub friends and sub colleagues welcome to another video of this youtube channel in this video i would like to show you something very um, simple but very useful and very important in specific situations and it is basically how you can trace a user in sap how you can see what a user has done in the system which transactions has this user executed a specific user or it can be a group of users so um, there are at least three ways to do this, but in this video I would like to show you the way through the transaction stat and let's not lose any time. Let's jump into the system and, and see how it can be done. So as you can see, we are now in the system and basically the transaction is stat which we need and this is what we write here in the menu. And this is the window with the settings that we can now actually play with. And um, the most important thing which we need here is the time. And as you can see, here's the date actually. And then we have, you have the time and the length which you are going to, to observe. And now I'm going to, to, to make it a little bit um, lengthier, let's say, a little bit longer, the period which we observe. Because I think in the last minutes I haven't been doing anything on the system. Let's say uh, we want to observe from 12 o'clock till not sure, I think we need also the minutes and seconds um, and also we'll say for length three hours and ten minutes and where user should be given I'll write my user and this is my user and basically you click just enter and this is it guys um, basically this is the table which we now can uh, which we you would be able to analyze but here is uh, only my user and all the activities in this period on the system on which the transaction has been executed. And basically what we have here, this is the, the, the time when the transaction or the activity has started, the server, we also have the tra transaction specific, the SEAD or the stat which has been executed. We also have here the program which is behind the, the program or, or the technical object if you wish, the technical program which is behind the transaction. We also have here some more details, the response uh, in mid milliseconds, you have also here wait time, CPU time, database request time, memory use, the memory which has been used uh, and the transferred kilobytes. And basically this is something very useful. You can actually need this for, for different reasons. If you want, for instance, to, um, if you want to say that a user has done something or hasn't done something, you can use such a, this table or this analysis. And this is it. Um, pretty simple. It can be complex if you have to um, if you have to explain something. But in our case, we are not going to do this, and I just wanted to show you how we can do this. So, guys, this was the the whole thing. Uh, this is how you can use this transaction, and this is how you can explain, as I've said a few times, different situations. Uh, whether a user has done something or hasn't done something, but basically there are, as I said, different ways as well to do this, different transactions. Uh, you can go through the database or you can go directly to system queries, but um, if, you, if you want to, to understand and to learn more ways, you can just write down into the comments and I'll make another small video about this thing. Um, this was it for me. I hope that you enjoyed the video and I wish you all the best. Stay healthy and stay tuned. Goodbye.